Yo, 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 welcome back to another Rec Room video, and of course, I have your Rec Room news for you. But before we do get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you decided to help a brother out and use his code in-game. It's basically like free money with no additional charge to you. But today is Saturday, and of course, I'm a little late to my news, as usual. But Rec Room decided to release a snazzy little weekly shop. As you guys can see, we have like this obvious steampunk theme going on. I like to see it. And of course, these are the items inside the shop that we have right now. As you guys can see, these are our new items. We see some older items returning some skins here. And these item sets don't actually have full body avatar parts to them at all. So that's interesting. Don't mind how broke I am. We're just not going to talk about that. Over here inside the rec center, you guys will see that these are the items we have for sale. Nothing new, nothing, you know, new here too. Over here for our community board, if you guys are interested, we don't have anything new other than a new featured creator. This creator is called Now444Go. That is a name. And uh, they're in love with Cheerio. That's their info if you guys are interested, of course. And for our featured rooms, they update every Tuesday, so stay tuned. And with this weekly rotation, we actually received a weekly rotation image. And I have some news about that. Here's how it looks, and of course, what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know down inside the comments below. So what am I talking about with this update happening to weekly images? Well, it was actually confirmed by a developer that Rec Room is actually planning to change weekly rotation images soon, so it might be some quote-unquote downtime before the new version happens. The design is going to be the same, he thinks, but there are some parts of it that are going to be different soon, though. Now, this wasn't the case with our actual weekly rotation. The reason why it was actually delayed yesterday is because the person who makes them had a flight. Now, of course, you guys know that whenever we actually get a new weekly, we get new deals, too. If you guys haven't checked out discounted offers yet, it's basically just, you know, a big sale. Usually, they have like 50% off. It's pretty crazy. Check it out, folks, and of course, this is what we're rocking with for this week. If you're interested in Gorilla Tag, they also had an update, but I do Gorilla Tag news and stuff like that on my second channel, so if you guys are interested in all that stuff, then of course, go check out my video. Link in the description! Now, we actually had an announcement for August Room Awards, and Rec Room came out to say, we heard y'all, and the Room's 2.0 hoodie is back! You can unlock it at starting at C tier, along with token rewards for the Room's 2.0 bonus metrics, but that's not all. Read more about the latest Room Awards news here. Then they also talk about Room highlights and stuff like that, that, that's basically the programs to get your rooms more popular. Of course, I will have both links down inside the description below, but let's check out this August Room Awards. Usually, whenever they have stuff like this, they talk about what's changing, so we'll just talk about what's changing with August Room Awards. It seems like the only thing that is changing is just they're bringing back the Rooms 2.0 hoodie, so you love to see it, and of course, did you ask for that? There's also another announcement about the Creators Gala, and Rec Room had this to say. In the spirit of some celebration around all of our wonderful creators, we're hosting a Creators Gala during this year's RecCon. This gala will celebrate Rec Room's best from the past year rooms, inventions, art, and avatar items being made between July 1st and June 30th are eligible. You can learn more about award categories, how to get nominated, and the judging process here at that little rec.net link. Now, someone inside the Rec Room Discord server had asked for a sneak peek about the next contest theme, and Godseb was trying to be a little sneaky. You're gonna have to believe me on this, but apparently Godseb had edited his message before this person could take a screenshot of the actual sneak peek. The emoji that he had used was the ying and yang emoji. So, of course, who has any clue what that contest theme might be? Maybe balance, equality, something like that? I, I don't know. Be sure to let me know what you guys think down to the comments below. Now recently, if you guys haven't seen, you could have messed around with custom dorm rooms instead of rec room, and I showed a method off inside one of my last videos. Unfortunately, it seems like that method has been patched because whenever you try to enter the actual room that you need to copy, it turns out that rec room had made the room private, so you can't enter it anymore. Sucks to suck, but of course, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now, everyone's favorite community game instead of Rec Room, Murder V3 had received some updates as well. J, a Rec Room developer who actually works on Murder V3 and owns the game, had said, Hi folks, we're running an experiment that may end up being permanent if it goes well. We've dropped the prices for clue bundles and increased the amount of clues you get per bundle. Let us know what you think as well and if we should keep this or not. And after this announcement, they had another announcement where they announced that there was a new cardboard gun skin for 800 clues, which was a rare skin, and a new kill SFX, which is Get Out, which is 500 clues, and an epic kill SFX. 
Let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you play Murder V3 inside of Rec Room a lot? Now I have a piece of information that has kind of been untouched by me, I think, for about a month now. So this is kind of old news, but I think it's still going on. I don't think I've ever talked about this notice of temporary change in Rooms 2 behavior inside of Rec Room, but of course, I'll give it a read just in case. Lion, I'm guessing a Rec Room staff member, had announced the Rooms 2 feature joint in progress network compaction is being disabled to work around a session corruption bug until a client update with a fix can be shipped. What is being changed? We are disabling a feature switch on the server to turn off the code that optimizes the side of the network traffic sent to players when they first join a Rooms 2.0 instance. Why? In heavily trafficked Rooms 2.0 rooms, with lots of players joining and leaving, this network optimization feature is causing player-associated Rooms 2 data, such as tags, to get dropped on the floor by joining clients, resulting in broken room behavior. Here are the benefits. This change will ensure all the data gets processed correctly by joining players and prevent the session from breaking in this manner. Though there are some downsides, and they do say, when doing network-heavy operations in Rooms 2, such as room editing slash creation with the Maker Pen, a room instance may quickly become unjoinable. This will happen much sooner than it would if the network compaction was enabled. To allow new players to join, players must go to a new instance of the room. And if you remember on my channel, I've talked about Avatar Studio before, and basically, it just allows Rec'n creators to make UGC clothing like this stuff that I have on actually possible inside of Rec Room. It's sort of like an extension onto Rec Room Studio, if you will. Well, Zizzy, a Rec Room developer, had actually revealed Avatar Studio concept art, and it's not particularly exciting because it's pretty, like, nerdy. As you guys can see from the images and stuff like this, you guys probably don't care at all because this all looks like just gobblegook to you. But Sizzy had also showed us another image of the Avatar Studio UI saying, you're just gonna have to trust me that the actual Avatar Studio UI already looks better than this. When asked if he can get in trouble for sharing these, uh, Zizzy said no company secrets can be found here. I only have to be careful when I talk or show stuff about features that other teams are responsible for, since they want to, in parentheses, understandably, have control over what gets said when about their work. When asked if there's an ETA for Avatar Studio, Zizzy says we're aiming for a very small group to get early, early pre-alpha access this quarter and roll it out to more hand-picked creators next quarter. But there's a lot of different pieces that need to land on time to make everything happen, so fingers crossed it all comes together smoothly. If you guys are interested in being one of the creators that makes UGC clothing, it's already been asked when would be a good time to submit your portfolios, and Zizzy confirms now. Now is a good time to submit your portfolio. <sighs> Something stinks. Hey, you over there! <laughs> are you in my membership? Listen, listen, the only reason why I'm asking that is because people that usually aren't in my membership kind of have some BO to them. You stink, dude, and if you want to smell nicer, of course you can use my channel membership. My memberships are like a Patreon, you give me money every month and I give you some perks every month. Now these perks that you get from, you know, being inside my membership are being shouted out in all of my videos, believe it or not, and I make a lot of god dang videos. And this being one of them, we gotta read our people out. So massive shout out to all my pookies who are Ultral2, Movie. Abby Young Creator, Chazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf YT, Dead Channel, PFG on VR, Hack Classy, Dino Pie, Not the Pup, Espos Maniac, Carl the Skunk, Hockey Boy, Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo, it's Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix, Stein, and of course, Box David. Anyways, YouTube decided to send me a free pizza, and it's pretty cool. I received an email from YouTube telling them that I was one of their creators they picked to receive a free Domino's pizza and it was bus. It was literally so random too. And I mean, that small pepperoni pizza that I ate that day had blessed me. Oh my gosh, I had to talk about it in the video. Yeah, let's go. Anyways though, that's pretty much this entire news video. Thank you guys all for watching till this point of the video. If you watched all the way till this point, comment banana or something like that. Of course, if you guys want to see more Rucker News content, I've made more videos, believe it or not, and you guys should hopefully see them on that side of the screen. Of course, as per usual, like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, and of course, I'll catch you guys inside the next one. Peace.